Today we are breaking down the Thosferan blocks as it has been revealed its name. This is the Light Island Titan Soul that is going to be arriving and we are taking a look at the new Mirror Islands and breaking down those and that mysterious teaser because I know you are as hyper as I am about that. <laughs> So first off, I want to take a look at the App Store teaser. This reveals that the first Titan Soul, the Phosphoran Flox, is going to be the only one that arrives on Wednesday. Luckily for us, I mean, if all of them were coming at once, that would be too much for anyone to handle, I'm pretty sure, guys. Looking at the image here, we can see a close-up preview at the Dormant State and Phosphoran Flox at the back. Really nice that we have a name for this now, too. Now, the main question behind Phosphoran Flox at the moment, though, especially based on the trailer, is how it is going to be obtained. In the trailer, we saw that it seems to be quite alike to Wubox, where it has a dormant state, and it looks like this state is going to need something to become active. In the trailer also, we saw some lore in that the stair shaper creates the Phosphor and Flock soul and beds it inside of a jewel, which then transforms into the dormant state. But overall, if we're looking at this, it is very akin to Wubox. It has a dormant state, and it's just a question of how we are going to awaken this dormant state on the island itself. Inside of the trailer, though I think it offers some answers. Looking at the structure, it seems to resonate the Phosphor and Flocks with certain monsters around itself. It resonates with Rare Flores, where the Sigil appears above them, Epic Whizbang, Thurcon, and Dromedary. Now, interestingly, looking at all of these classes, we have one from each individual class here. So we have a Rare coming up first, an Epic, then a Natural, and then a Fire Expansion monster. I think this is quite a key point, guys, as going back to the comments that originally I found for the Colossals. I remember that people back then, they were suggesting maybe the way that the Colossals could be retrieved and awoken inside of the game is having a full block of monsters and that coming, that was everywhere, man. And these time souls, let's be real here, they basically are another form of Coloss eyes and refining on that concept, but making it so much better. I believe, therefore, based on this, that it is going to require a set amount of monsters based on your collection on the island itself. It makes the most sense here. I Especially seeing as though it's hinting towards it requiring different classes. It looks like it's going to require a multitude of ones rather than just Wubox, and it doesn't appear as though they are actually going to go inside of it and be used up. They just can be on the island itself, which is very nice. Going off of what we know from this too, I feel like it isn't going to require just every monster like everyone was originally suggesting for the Colossals. It's instead just going to require a set amount. For example, if we have new rare magicals come along and new monsters, they're not going to remove your Foster and Flocks. So it's very likely that we are going to have a mechanic whereby it's just going to require, let's say, 10 naturals, five rares, and then two epics, something like that. And I feel like this therefore needs to keep in mind that maybe people don't really always t go out there with the epics and variants and should not require too many in this case as we've got to let people play how they want to play the game still, I think. Now, inside of the trailer, though, this is where the most interesting part is, <laughs> at least in my opinion. We also hear this synth-like vocal sound. When the titan begins to be awoken, we hear these synth-like sounds. Take a listen here. Now, pick it back in of the how the, the Colossals are supposed to be the only ones that can sing, and we've always known that the Titans can't sing. I think it is perfect that they make their sounds through what looks like to be the island and these animated elements inside of the trailer. The trailer really does show off how Phosphor is the one making the sounds with the island itself animating. Now, inside of the trailer, when I was originally watching it, I was thinking, oh my goodness, is the island actually going to make its sounds and animate? But upon thinking about it, I'm unsure if they are going to to commit towards these visuals and whether this was just for trailer purposes. I think personally, having the island make the sounds, that is perfect, man, to be able to signify the sounds and bring that visual element as that is something that I really felt the Colossals lacked and what contributed towards them, making them feel a bit lackluster in comparison to what we were expecting. But realistically, I, I just don't see it now. I feel like the movements of the Phosphor and Titan inside of the trailer were basically just 
stretched and it didn't feel like they were quite as gameplay oriented. It just felt like it was something inside of the trailer. So therefore, my main concern now with the Titan Souls is whether these are going to end up appearing without visual elements like the Colossals. The Colossals, they awaken, yes. And the Titan Soul, it awakens, yes. But I want to see visual representations. And overall, when I'm looking at this, I feel like there is nothing better than animating a monster-like counterpart behind the souls. They have basically done everything that I could wish for out of a soul-like monster. Basically, this is what we wanted from the Colossals, right? Some kind of soul-like monster that would have been the perfect embodiment of this to encapsulate that sound and animate around itself but even inside of the trailer when these sim sounds play it seems to be just playing its idle animation so it seems to me like this might not even function like a monster the phosphor and flox which is a little bit worrying i'm not gonna lie i feel myself worrying towards the visual elements and how it is going to capture that kind of magic that i am seeking out from this especially if it just stands still it's almost like it's a colossal and also this is eye candy if they are putting this in front of us the soul counterpart and then it doesn't animate I mean, and it doesn't contribute towards the song in monster form like we would overall want. I mean, if you think about it, the Titan is basically just another reward, right? The Titan Awakening is amazing and it is something we really love and I love ever so dearly, but it isn't what I am here for fully. I want to see the soul come to life. It's the main thing. You can't mimic the eye candy, the, the phosphor and soul. I can't th think of another way to describe it. It just is eye candy. When you look at it and you feel the impact of the monster, and the Titan coming forward when it's open its eyes, yes, but I need to feel it visually. I want it to be animated, and that is where my main concern is coming in right now. If it doesn't move and it's just stationary, it's basically just the claws eye again, but putting it in front of us and not having it animate. I just... <laughs> These designs, they are going to be so cool. I can tell from the Phosphor and Flocks already. These designs are going to mimic the Titans so well. Even when I'm thinking back to the synth sounds, though, that were in the trailer, it felt like those sounds weren't necessarily actual sounds that we might find in the song, which also leaves me a little bit confused, too. Are we yet to hear it properly? Is it going to actually animate? It doesn't in the trailer. I just, I'm just left with a lot of questions and confusion and hoping that this will be better than the Colossal this time but now moving on to the main thing <laughs> I am most hyped about this. I am not gonna lie. This Prism Gate teaser that we see at the end. The Prism Gate becomes all drizzly gooey and then we see the Life Formula sigil inside of the sensor. And I've got to say, I have the strangest feeling that this could be bigger than the Titan Souls update. How weird is that? <laughs> but going back to how it's based on the Life Formula element sigil, the hand there, this sigil has an important connection in side of the game and has law behind it. So this sigil represents the Colossals and Wubox's ability to bring bubble right statues to life as monsters like the Wubblins and therefore the question that I have when I see this sigil is is it referencing that aspect of life formula? It certainly I would guess is especially with all the connections to the Titans the Colossals creation is definitely the main factor that I consider this teaser to be based around but then also it if we go back to the end, this throws me off a little bit because inside of the logo for the Titan Souls word mark that appears on the screen, Remonculus's flower is here too. So this is connected not just to the Colossals and their process and life formula, which is the creation of of monsters from bubble right statues that we've been over but life formula is it connected to the process itself or are we talking about monculus seen as the rare monculus's flower is at the end but something that i've seen literally no one anywhere ask is where is this teaser taking place if we heighten the brightness up a little bit on here and we put a side-by-side -side comparison to mirror plant island you can see it right now boy <laughs> This person gate has opened up on Mirror Plant Island. I think this is a very important talking point now because we were talking about is it linked to Monculus? Is it linked to the Colossals as creations? And I'm edging towards the Colossals as creations aspect now. Recently, we have seen the Colossals come to life on the natural islands. That's literally the only islands we currently have them awoken. And with this being a Titan Souls update, it gets me automatically thinking, are we going to have Colossal Souls? So this is the same conclusion that I reached inside of my reaction but i feel it to be true imagine this imagine this guys <laughs>
you complete a conundrum. Then you get a unique placeable monster soul for each colossal on the island, leading us towards a future colossal island. Yes, an island beyond my dreams. It is the one that I want the most. I am crazy for colossal island. I will do anything. I will leave my soul down for colossal island. Just give it me, please. I feel like if we have titan souls and then they animate and they bring sounds to life as well as having the animated island elements it's just so good i want that for my colossals as well in the natural islands and also going back to the colossals they just have so much nostalgia they have history behind them to the point where i think they would be so much more impactful to me as a long time fan and i'm sure to you guys in being awakened and seeing their soul states even over the the titans i'm, I'm just so excited <laughs> oh, it was long ago in it as well that the colossals their singing abilities would improve over time and maybe this could be hinting towards that as more colossals wake up maybe their singing skills will improve as we were saying before though it's really hard to work out whether it is time to life formula the process or if it's time to monculus itself the rare monculus flower at the end it definitely makes me question what is going on it could even be referencing one of the Colossals as creations in the prison gates. It's interesting how the prison gate is drooping. It seems as though it's becoming unstable from whatever it is. So it leaves me wondering, is there a creation in there? What's There's just so many questions. <laughs> There's so many questions and so much love it. I like this teaser so much. I don't think there's been one where there's so many implications to the point where it feels like it could be so many things. But anyway, as well, even going back to the Mirror Islands, we know it's on Mirror Plant Island, this teaser, right? Maybe it's teasing Mirror Island exclusive content with that Mirror Island Plant Island background. I, I mean, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think there would be huge uproars in the community if that ever happened. People would just want it tied to the natural islands too, obviously, but Colossal Souls, please, that is the best part. <laughs> If he is teasing that. <laughs> but as well, we have uh, Mirror Magical Islands on the way. Now, if we head over to the app shop, we are revealed towards these new icons. These are so cool. I cannot believe these. I love the aesthetic behind these inside of the trailer. We got great previews at these. I love how it's half and half. It perfectly mirrors the islands themselves. You've got one element that is completely normal, then one that is weird. It feels like a really ominous reflection and represents that ominous tone of the mirror timeline so well. I I'm obsessed with this. And also, inside of the App Store reveal, we should also mention that every single one is going to be coming this Wednesday. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. And I know the, all of the natural mirror islands came at once as well, but it feels like so much at once. And again, I suppose if we aren't having the mirror knots and an ethereal like class to go alongside the magical elements, why not just release them all now? But it also, I am kind of sad that we don't have the mirror knots. It's, it's somewhat of a missed opportunity there. I feel like definitely something that I would like them to see re-encompass in the future because an ethereal like class that links towards the magical elements would suit so well and also would make these mirror islands a lot more impactful i'm honestly surprised we're not having the mirror knots and then the mirror islands come along with them in the upcoming months but anyway <laughs> let's have a look because the designs the designs <laughs> These designs are so unique. I love how these have no Mirror Island ooze. And that goes back to our law. We know that the Mirror Island ooze, are thanks to wonderful Pentumbra's bio, is caused by the Rift's fractures. And seeing as though these Mirai Magical Islands haven't been around that long because they were only recently pulled by the stair shaper into the Mirror timeline, we know now that these islands haven't had time to develop that ooze. <laughs> I find that so fascinating, man. I, I mean, it goes against what I'd expect for a Mirai island but also it makes sense <laughs> Now that we can see these Outer Islands in the traditional MSM style, it feels like such a good idea. We have Starhenge, which we see a bit with Celestial, and I'm so glad that we're getting a bit of representation with that with the Outer Islands, and the theories just came true, man. It, it's, it's perfect. 
somewhere. These Mer Islands too, they will have unique songs. I am so, so hoping that they have seen the comments. They know that the natural ones, they weren't it. I am so hoping that these are a lot better. I think that Mirabone, Fairy and Psychic Island, they have such great potential. There's so many sounds there and so many verses. It done right, they're just gonna be phenomenal. Please, please have listened to the comments though because we, we can't have the Mirror Naturals again because those weren't that great. Mirror Light Island 2, when I'm looking at Light, it has such a structured song. It just builds up all the way. It's simple, it's repeated melody. I feel like it's gonna be a lot harder to adapt that one into a Mirror style. I am a little bit curious how they're going to handle that one over Bone Fairy and Psychic. You can do those, but seeing as though we have some Fire Expansion monsters on, on there, they're gonna have to really utilize those a lot, I think. So please as well keep those in the market so we can listen to the full song. They literally go out of the market. They've been on sale for ages. The moment the update comes out, please don't do that. Have them extend the sale. Literally, I don't want to be waiting weeks for the Mirror Island full songs. And I don't think you guys do too. So I hope that they continue putting them on sale just for this reason. Now, following along with our old Mirror Islands too, the pricing behind these is likely to go up by 100 diamonds from the ones that we had before because all the natural ones went up 100. So it's likely these ones will too. So it's going to be quite a hefty diamond investment, these islands. Personally, I, I think it's well worth it. New diamond mines, new wobbling breeding structures. Yes, please. <laughs> I need all of the zapping eggs breeding structures I can get and also those mines. Those will be so great. I feel like Sinazuma Earth is already so expensive and we are talking at getting up to almost a thousand diamonds if they continue that. I feel like they could just continue the Mirror Earth prize all through these or even be generous hopefully and maybe even tone these down a bit with the price and even considering this too if they go up by 100 diamonds we, we are quite likely to get mirror haven and oasis at some point so maybe that could fluctuate the cost a little bit too there it's going to be quite interesting to see what they do with the prices but hot mama am i waiting for them new structures and breeding mines <laughs> You took me mirror epic ethereals away, but not this time. I'll be getting all those quads, baby. <laughs> no, I'm so excited for this Wednesday. We have so much coming. I feel like a lot of people were put off by there not being a new island this time, but yo, there'll be a new one coming eventually. This is so cool that we're entering a period where there isn't a new island that's getting updates consistently. We've literally not had that in years. And personally, that just excites me because we're going into a new realm of content and they're clearly confident with what they're doing. I, I just need to know the prison gate. Please, please give me the prison gate. I, I need to know. <laughs> Anyway, I have Pro Composer King up next because they have a prediction what the Phosphoran Flux could sound like now. So let's go and take a listen. Also, bye and hop mama. Dum 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 d